Hey everyone, this is Rajiv and I'm from India. Currently, I'm a final year undergraduate student at JSSAT Bangalore, India. I'm an open source enthusiast and contributed to various open source organizations and participated in a program like Google Senior Blocks, Google Summer of Code and LFX Mentorship. This is my first GoFordCon Europe as a speaker and it's great to be part of this conference. Today, I will be speaking about generating restful services using gRPC Gateway. The prerequisite of this talk is gRPC, HTTP slash JSON and protobuf. So we all know that gRPC is not a tool for everything. There are cases we still want to provide a traditional HTTP slash JSON API. The reason can range from maintaining a backward compatibility to supporting programming languages or clients not well supported by gRPC. But writing another service is just to expose an HTTP slash JSON API is quite a time consuming and tedious task. So is there any way to code just once but provide APIs in both gRPC and HTTP slash JSON at the same time? The answer is yes. So we have gRPC Gateway. The gRPC Gateway is a plugin of the Google Protocol Buffer Compiler, Protoc. It reads a protobuf service definitions and generates a reverse proxy server uh, which translates a RESTful API to gRPC. Basically, this helps you to provide uh, your API in both gRPC and HTTP slash JSON format at the same time. So how does it work? So uh, I said gRPC Gateway is a plugin of Protobuf compiler. It generates proxy code from Protobuf. So it's going to generate HTTP and gRPC code at the same time. Uh, there is two ways, uh, uh, two types of translation we can use to implement gateway. Uh, In-process translation uh, means uh, gRPC, uh, uh, the gateway can call the gRPC handler directly in code without going extra half network. However, it only works for unary translation. And to do a streaming gRPC, uh, we must run the HTTP gateway as a separate proxy server. In that case, the HTTP JSON request forwarded to the gRPC server via a network call. This is the architecture of gRPC uh, gateway. So this generates a gRPC with normal protoc gen generator. And we also generate a little uh, proxy with the gRPC protoc gen and gRPC generator. Then you uh, kind of just starting uh, proxy and it serves an HTTP REST interface and it in the background translates your JSON request into protobuf sends uh, it through gRPC service then translate it back again on the way out. Uh, this is the steps uh, uh, how we can write a simple uh, gRPC gateway code like I demonstrated using the hello world program. So we all know how to write a gRPC service is similar to that. So we define our service in proto uh, buff file. We create the go file, like I created a main.go where we write, uh, we where we, I write my client and server logic. And also uh, we um, have to add annotation uh, to the existing proto files. So the annotation define how gRPC services map to the JSON request and the response. When using protocol buffer, each RPC must define the HTTP method and path using the google.api.http annotations. So you will need to add google slash api slash http.proto import to the proto file. You also need to add HTTP gRPC mapping we want. Now we got the gRPC gateway annotation added to proto file. We need to use the gRPC gateway generator to generate the stuffs. We can uh, generate the stuffs using proto or buff. These are the references uh, you can go through. So first link is about uh, gRPC Gateway documentation website. Second is uh, where the gRPC Gateway code exists, uh, like um, uh, exist. And uh, third is the high level program uh, which I coded using gRPC Gateway, like based on gRPC Gateway. So thank you everyone. You can connect me on these links. Uh, thanks a lot.